stormwater management is about how we protect the stormwater, how we protect water through industrial practices or what we do as a society that contribute pollutants to the catch basins and to our rivers, lakes, and streams. What we do to manage and protect that water before it goes discharging into our receiving waters. Those that are in the industry, those that are in uh, business practices that are just starting to learn about stormwater, I think one of the most important things to realize is it is something that we can manage, it is something that we can control, and a lot of it has to do with just changing a little bit uh, of the way that we consider stormwater as part of our business practice. The stormwater classes that we're offering are in a variety of sectors. We do the construction, we do industrial, we delve into the municipal, but really what we try to do is we focus on a holistic look at whatever category we're dealing with from start to finish. How do we develop the plans? How do we put a program in place that makes sense? And then how do we go about being compliant with our permits or other uh, avenues in an, in an economic way uh, that makes sense to everybody? Not only do we do just the educational part, we also do certifications. So some states like, C uh, like Washington State have CECL, Certified Erosion Sediment Control Lead. We provide that CECL certification program. Uh, we also do other hands-on type of trainings. Not only do we talk about conventional BMPs, but we also talk about some of the more advanced BMPs like adding chemistry to stormwater. So all the, the high turbidity water, we've added some chemistry that acts as a flocculant. It binds the particles together and allows that separation of the sediment load, the high turbidity loads, to fall out of the water column. So you have clear water that can be discharged off your site. One item that we've found uh, throughout the courses that we've offered uh, that seems to be a, um, a really important point of discovery for many of the students attending our courses is that they're not aware of the fact that sometimes those sample containers they're using are in fact not clean enough. We're gonna help you ensure that in fact your sample containers are trace clean and that your sample containers themselves will not be part of the signal and metal signal that you'll be sampling and analyzing later. We'll be covering how to choose the appropriate sample container, uh, the correct sample gloves and field sampling equipment, how to assess your sampling location and properly sample that location, whether it be with a grab sample, a pole extension, to uh, enable you to customize your field sampling to whatever sampling location you're at. Most of the content of our classes is the local regulations. We talk about the policy from the federal level all the way down to the local level. No matter where we go in the country, we can customize our stormwater program to the local policy. We introduce some not well-known methodologies that are out there uh, that really assist people in developing the right type of program, getting the right information. Stormwater programs are built around data. That data determines how we manage for stormwater on our project.